I got one for you. What's that? We've never done muckle teal. Uh, muckle well, teal. That's funny. That's well, a funny name. I don't it's kind of too cute. Yeah, yeah, I think you know? I agree. Well, what's I wrong agree. with cute? What about burian? <clears throat> yeah. mm, well, what does that mean, though? Yeah, right. What, you know, what, sounds what like some mean? kind of animal or something. I don't know. Maybe we should just stick with Enumclaw for just a, you know, I mean, another yeah. couple of weeks. Yeah. You know, yeah. I, feel, I just feel like we're overlooking Fife. Hang on. I bet the pizza guy is here. Uh, Check it out. About time I'm starving. I, you know, I think is it's Fife too obvious? obvious? Well, I don't know. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. No, they'll take it. It check. is not the pizza guy. It is not the pizza guy. What? Well, what is it? Oh, we're, you come with me. We're all going to enter the door together. It's a big come on. Deal. They, come on. Come on. Take a check. What? I don't. What? What is he doing here? Look, 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 look. Let's just be cool. Just be cool, okay? Okay, be cool. Don't panic. Okay. Yeah, we, we know who you are. Look, here's the thing. Yeah. See, I was going to put that money back. I, she said she was 18, I swear. I'm so sorry, you guys. I've been trying to make a buck off the TV show. I've been selling the 206 moonshine out of the trunk of my car, and I'm sorry. Yo, 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 yo fellas. I'm just selling chocolates for my kid. I love oh, chocolate. For your kid? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, I'll we'll buy some. Buy, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll buy the whole yeah, box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How much? Uh, yeah, 20 bucks. Oh, yeah. I, I, no, I'm sorry. 60. Okay, sure. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Take 80. Then dig it all. Yeah. It's there for you your go. kid. Yeah. We want to support Thank your kid. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Be good. We'll, yeah. we'll be good. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. no yeah. problem. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Thank you. See ya. Oh, my gosh. Works every single time. It smells like suckers. Again, welcome, 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 all of you to the 206. My name is Chris Cashman, and this guy, Pat, he is my younger brother. That's right. Wait a minute, hang on. You, you changed some of the copy in the prompter, didn't you? I mean, a little bit here and there. All right, look, look, it's true we were away for a while, but we've been allowed to return as long as we wear the ankle bracelets. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm curious, because they gave me two. Well, it's nice to have a spare. No, but they put them both on the same ankle. Well, look, the real reason we're back has to do with you and you. All right, you watched our first two shows back in January, or, well, at least you claim to, but that was good enough for someone to say, we'd like you guys to do some more new shows. Wait, somebody really said that? Yeah, I did. Oh. <laughs> All right. Anyways, thanks to you guys for standing up for us. We appreciate yeah. it. Just like these people are right now, because as you can see, we got a nice crowd here, but only four chairs. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, let's get doing some 206 -ing. Yeah, you know what, because this show isn't just about laughs, you know? We're going for drama and suspense, too. Who said that? I did. Oh, yeah, that's right, you said that. Yeah. Now, this can get pretty messy, Jesse. So cover up, and you watch for customers while I cook. Yo, I got it, yo. Yo, are you sure you know what you're doing? Children can do this. Now stand back so you don't get burned. longer you plan on making this stuff, yo? You think I have a choice, Jesse? I have bills. You know I've had some serious bad luck. Yeah, 
Yo, losing your job at Hostess was weak, yo. That is just the cream filling and the snowball that is my life. Oh, yo, yo, Hostess snowballs with a bomb, yo. And I lost my job at Pay and Pack and then Frederick and Nelson and then Ernst Hardware. And then I was the head bartender at Planet Hollywood, Seattle. Yo, I got it. You worked at a lot of places that went under. Yeah. And that's why right now, right here, this is my stimulus package. The customer, yo. What's up? Well, word on the street is you guys got a fresh batch. You heard right. Chocolate okay? Oh, Dippin' Dots. This is great. My kids love them. Can I get another one? Yeah, sure. Yeah. So, what are you gonna do now? What do you mean, what am I gonna do? Well, it's all over the internet. Dippin' Dots filed for bankruptcy. Son of a bitch! Next time on Breaking Ballard. Hey, what's with the suitcase, yo? I'm leaving Seattle, Jesse. I'm going out of state. I'm taking a management position. Yo, you're gonna be the boss? Yep. You're looking at the director of basketball operations for the Sacramento King. I'll see you later. Yo. We'll be right back! The 206, brought to you by Stingray Auto Repair, Snoqualmie Casino, and by Pemco. We're a lot like you, a little different. I got one. So, uh, y'all remember the show, The 206? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, it's back, apparently, so they say. And uh, our camera's caught up with John Keister. That dude, John Keister's over here from The 206. Yep, there he is. Hey, Keister, what's up, bro? Nah, what's up, man? Uh, nothing, nothing. No, 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 we love, we're fans of the show, bro. 206, we love great. it, man. Yeah, what are you great. doing? That's great, great. Oh, you're shopping. What's this, dude? Oh, the boxed one. You partying, bro? No, I, you know, it's uh, good for cooking. You, know, you cook with this. Ah, oh, come on. You don't cook you with got, that. Gun, did you buy the wine? The girls are ready. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> let's, let's Later, bros. Come on in. Find a seat. I'm going to tell you the real Seattle story. Come on in. Yeah, get in there. Find a seat. All right, I'm giving you the real Seattle tour. I've been doing this ever since they ripped down the Sunset Lanes where I worked, and there was nothing wrong with them. They were fine. Look what they put in their place. Oh my God, look what they've done. This is Market Street? This is supposed to be Ballard? It makes me want to puke. Yeah, are we going to go to the Pike Place Market? Oh, you want to see some fish getting thrown around? Is that why you want to go to the market, see some fish getting thrown around? I'll show you where they throw the fish around. Right there, where the fishing fleet comes in at the dock. Until they make them get rid of those boats so a bunch of rich people can park their yachts. And don't think those bastards aren't going to try that. Hey, are we going to see the Space Needle? Yeah, yeah, you're going to see the Space Needle. It's right there behind the key arena where the Sonics used to play until those rich bastards sold them out. We tried to stop it. We tried to stop it, but you can't stop money in this town. You can't do it. Now a bunch of other rich bastards are trying to steal a team from another town. Makes me sick. Yeah, I heard Jimi Hendrix comes from Seattle. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Hendrix was from Seattle. You want to see his memorial? Look at it, right over there. It's like some giant dog ate a bunch of crayons and took a huge dump by the space needle. Ah! Hey, it just went over that guy. He was jaywalking. <laughs> Normal Seattleites don't jaywalk. He had that coming. This is the only real Seattle left. This is it, just the sand on the beaches. The rest of that crap, you can have it. And that's what I told my girlfriend the other day, and I... Oh, God, I'm supposed to pick her up. Um, listen, you guys stay here. I'll be right back. Just stay here. I'll be right back. Well, still better than the ducks. Oh, I kind of like the ducks. I think it's part of my job on this show uh, to be your consumer advocate, to look out for you, the little and medium-sized guy. And that's why 
I look at products with a certain eye that I thought that you might want to know about before you put down your hard-earned money. Here's one of them. It's called Combat Quick Kill Formula. Sounds good. When you see a quick kill, you think it's like, it's gone. No, look a little closer to the fine print. I don't know if you can see it here. It's quick kill, all right, but it starts killing in hours. And it keeps on killing for three months. <laughs> Isn't that really torture, not killing at all? I mean, I guess they figured, well, you know, the name of the product, we couldn't put combat, slow, painful, lingering, protracted, <laughs> horrible death on there, so we'll just put that on there instead. Here's another product, something we all use every day, some of us more than others. It's called Charmin <laughs> Ultra Soft Tissue. And it says on here that it's really soft and you'll use less of it. How do they know how much I use? <laughs> Another of their slogans is, for a clean you will notice. <laughs> hey, everybody, you noticed something? <laughs> they noticed. How about this one? This one's a little uh, bit of a head scratcher. It's a combination system, douche, enema, and water bottle. All in one. Do you need this all in one product? <laughs> and look at this poor beleaguered model on here. <laughs> this is the only job she's got modeling so far. <laughs> uh, but at least it's on her resume. How about this? In the stupid products department, this is the Gojo. Uh, it, it holds your phone absolutely hands free. That's what it says. And, and it seems to work, too and it just has a suction cup on it. You don't need any fancy electronics, just a mere suction cup, and it holds your phone in place, and you can let go. If this phone should fall off, by the way, it's okay, because it's a Blackberry. <laughs> Doesn't that look good? And it's good. <laughs> and it's good that your hands are free, because you're gonna need both of them to fend off people who are gonna wanna beat the crap out of it, because you look so stupid. <laughs> Larry, what time is that Mensa meeting tomorrow? I'm not sure I can meet. <laughs> Ridiculous. Here's one for you. Not for all of you, but it's for women. <laughs> the carefree thong. With stay put wings. I don't know where the wings stay put, but hopefully they do stay put. But here's what it says on the back of the box. If you're not completely satisfied with this product after 21 days, return it and we'll give you your money back. <laughs> really? Uh, look, if you are in a period for 21 days, you don't need a thong, you need a transfusion, okay? <laughs> and finally, and finally, we got this little baby. It's called Potty Mouth. What does it do? It stops your dog or puppy from consuming its own feces. <laughs> Doesn't say anything about other feces, but its own. But I don't believe it, so I thought I would try it myself. Minty. <laughs> it works. I don't want to do that. I don't have any desire to do it. It really works. We'll be right back. So, 206, funny show. We got all three guys downtown. At a restaurant. Check it out. Got the guys from the 206 over here. What's up, fellas? What's up, man? You guys having lunch? Sweet, bro. Good to see you guys. What's up, man? Chips. I love chips, man. Sweet. That's what I would have ordered too, bro. It's cool to see you guys out here just eating like normal people, man. It's awesome, man. But they were just eating. Nothing really happened. But we got the footage. Might as well use it. What else we got? I thought you guys were supposed to be funny, bro. This is lame. How am I going to sell this tape?
Father, Uncle. Good morning. Good morning. My, it all looks so delicious. Father, why the long face? Oh, it's nothing, I suppose. It's just that I dread Monday mornings so. Back to the grind. Start with the work week. Gotta fire up the wood chipper. Where are my manners, my boy? Here, this is for you. Oh, no, no, no. Beer first thing in the morning? Not, not for me, I'm afraid. Start with juice. He's got discipline, that one. Well, fine lad, fine, fine lad. Fine boy, yes. I'm really so proud of it. Yeah. Me, he goes his own road. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Cheers. Cheers, my Cheers. boy. Well, that school bus isn't going to drive itself. I'll see you later. Right. One for the road. Next time on Renton Abbey. Employees of Fisher Broadcasting were shocked to learn that Seattle's last locally owned radio and television stations were bought out by the Sinclair Group last week. Anchorman Dan Lewis is reportedly so despondent he's considering a mullet. <laughs> Weatherman Steve Poole has suffered severe Doppler dysfunction since the sale was announced. Executives at the ultra-conservative Sinclair Corporation were equally alarmed when they heard the station's call letters. That is until someone calmed them down by saying, no, you heard it wrong, it's Como. <laughs> Como, with a K. <laughs> Big Bertha, the machine designed to bore the tunnel that will eventually replace the Alaska Way Viaduct arrived in town last week. It will begin digging the deepest hole in Seattle, not counting the current sounder season. <laughs> Officials raided a Tacoma bar that had opened a special lounge area for the consumption of medical marijuana. That room has been shut down, but officers took great pains to explain that it is still completely legal to consume five pints of Manny's and chase it with a Jaeger bomb. An engineer responsible for faulty construction on the new 520 bridge has been fired. His supervisors admit they should have been more vigilant while reading his resume since most of his previous experience was at Legoland. <laughs> A developer's organization reported last week that the condo construction in the Seattle market might be overbuilt. They arrived at that conclusion by looking out the window and saying, holy crap, look at all these freaking empty condos. What the heck did we do? Three women ran into the Puyallup Victoria's Secret and stole 150 bras worth $8,000. While brandishing weapons, they screamed, this is a push-up, I mean a stick-up. <laughs> a manager confronted the suspects in the parking lot where she was beaten to the ground. The husband of the manager has issued a statement, quote, just let me get my hands on them. <laughs> Police artists have been working on sketches of the subjects for seven days in a locked room. <laughs> All right, now wait a minute, wait a minute, wait. There's a Victoria's Secret in Puyallup. <laughs> that, that's like having a Brooks Brothers in Shelton. Oh, that's like opening a gym in Bremerton. That's like having an orthodontist in Forks. <laughs> this is John Keister for the 206, and that's the 411. The 206, brought to you by Pemco. We're a lot like you, a little different. And by Snoqualmie Casino and Stingray Auto Repair. Hey, the 206 show. The uh, Cashmans, both of them, at an event together. The John Keister guy, yeah? But it wasn't pretty. No.
That's all the time we have left. That's all the time we have left. Well, I mean, except for the time that you just used to say, that's all the time we have left. We could have used that. Yeah, I guess Except so. for that part right there. Well, everybody who had fun tonight, would you please remain standing? They had a great time. They left. See you next time. Good night. Promotional consideration provided by Tutabella, with four convenient locations. And by Cadence Winery, voted Seattle Magazine Winemaker of the Year. And by Bellevue Brewing, the newest brewery in the 425.